So a couple of weeks ago, I started to put together a video on how to repair this busted router where the antenna was actually snapped off of the board. So today I'm going to go ahead and continue this video as I go ahead and attempt at replacing it and seeing if I can fix it. So this here is the replacement piece. And here is the original one. And as you can see, the legs broke off the original one and they're actually soldered into the board. So I need to desolder those and install the new one. And just a real quick shout out here to Graham Jones that pointed me in the right direction on being able to get this replacement so that I can finish up this video for you guys here on the channel. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this board here. I've got my soldering iron heating up. And I'm going to go ahead and start removing the pins that broke off in the board using some needle nose pliers. One down, three more to go, and then we gotta replace it. Found the tweezers that I just remembered where I put them because they were lost before and works a lot easier than the needle nose pliers. Just got to be careful that the heat doesn't travel up here from the soldering iron and burn my hand. So now I'm going to attempt to re-solder this and uh, hope that I didn't damage the board too much during the process of removing it. I'm no Lewis Rossman, nor do I claim to be. All right, now that I got this actually fitting back inside where it was originally soldered, I'm going to go ahead and re-solder it. And again, I'm no Lewis Rossman, so hold off on the comments on how bad of a soldering job it is. The main thing is, is does it work once I'm done finished working on it? What solder am I gonna use? Some good old solder from Radio Shack. Kinda wish Radio Shack was still around, it was awesome. You could just walk right in and buy stuff like this. Same day, you didn't have to wait to get it from China. I have no idea how long it has not been recording for, but apparently I hit a limitation within the camera and it stopped recording. So to catch you up, I went ahead and finished soldering it back to the board. Again, I am no Lewis Rossman. I don't solder on a daily basis. I do it out of necessity, not as a profession. Main thing is, is that if it works, I'm going to go ahead and give it away. So if this is something that you want, then go ahead and drop me an email at brad at shinytechthings.com and let me know how you would use it. 
I will choose one lucky winner and I will go ahead and even pay shipping as long as it's within the United States. If it's outside the United States, then you would have to pay the difference between what I would be paying within the United States and the international shipping costs. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and clean this guy up and start putting her back together. Looks as good as new, but I'm wondering if it'll work as good as new. There we go. Now I kept all the separate parts in a Ziploc bag so I don't lose them. Now we just screw this back together. We should be good to go. Down the last two screws and then we will have to plug it in and boot it up. Put these rubber feet back on and there we go. Now for the antennas. So now is the moment of truth. I'm going to see if I can plug it in and if it turns on. And in my next video, I'm going to go ahead and do a factory reset on it, check out the firmware, and see what we can get loaded up on it and see if it still is a viable router. Got some lights. And it looks like that it's working. So go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed and you tap the notification icon if you haven't already so that when I release the next video, you'll be able to see where I'm at with this and I'll be giving it away. And again, thank you for watching.